welcome to Excel video 260. I've been helping a group put all their contracts on one spreadsheet and then write formulas to analyze reimbursement by CPT code across contracts. When it's time to get your contracts under control, I'd love to help. Today I've really got a clever shortcut for you that uh, I think you'll really like. If you've ever put really long instructions like I've done here, text at the bottom of a big spreadsheet where you're trying to give instructions on how to use the spreadsheet or details on where I got the numbers for my spreadsheet or any of a number of those kind of things. The challenge with all these instructions is Excel is a really good spreadsheet but it's not so much a word processor. I want to show you one more trick today from the fill menu in this justify thing that will help manage all this text. You know, one solution you may say is, well, Nate, just double click column A right here and you can make this column A wide enough to do everything and you don't need any of this. Well, you know, that's all fine and good if this is all you have on your spreadsheet, but if this is, you know, rows 60 through 65, say, and you've got a whole bunch of data up here in equally spaced columns A, B, C, and D, now your spreadsheet goes, you know, way off the page because you made column A too big. Let me show you another way to get around it. What you can do is you can say, hey, you know what? For these cells, I want to go maybe out to column, oh, let's go out to column D, let's say. And I want it to fit in these columns, A, B, C, and D, without making those columns wider. Well, I can do that. I'm going to go to this fill menu and go to justify. And I'm going to get a warning message that says, hey, you know what, Nate, you didn't give me enough space. I'm going to go below that, and that's fine. Now watch that. Isn't that clever? What Excel did is it said, all right, I will make everything fit between columns A and D, and I'll just extend the rows down. And, you know, in the old days, you know, let's undo. You used to have to, okay, insert a row, and you'd, okay, that's about to column D, so I better cut from here out and paste it in the next one, and then I'd paste that in the front and then cut the next one. It'd take forever. All you've got to do is say, no, this time I only want to go to column E. Here, let's just take these out to column E, and I can guess how far down I'm going to go. Go to justify, and I was right, and it worked. It's a very clever shortcut to take a long field of text, or several long fields of text, and Excel will justify and make it fit in the column space you give it. I mean, you can, you know, if you're, if you're crazy, you can do this. And yeah, you better believe it's going to extend below the range. And yeah, I've got a couple of words that you know Excel did the best I could, but you can make it go all the way down to there with one click without any of that cut and paste kind of stuff. It's a great trick. It's fill and justify. And I hope that helps you next time you need it. Thanks for watching.